In this video, we will discuss the organization of the nervous system and the structure of motor neuron. There are two main types of nervous system. The first one is the central nervous system that include the brain and the spinal cord. Both brain and the spinal cord function as a site of integration, which is information processing. This is because brain and spinal cord contain a specific type of neuron called interneuron. The central nervous system plays the central role in controlling most of the bodily function that includes thoughts, speech, memory, awareness, sensations, and movement. Not to forget our reflex movement. Secondly, the peripheral nervous system which function to transmit information from sensory receptor to the central nervous system and then from the central nervous system to effectors. This means that the peripheral nervous system interconnects the brain to all parts of the body. The peripheral nervous system consists of sensory neuron at the afferent division and motor neuron at the efferent division of the peripheral nervous system. As mentioned earlier, the afferent division of the peripheral nervous system contains sensory neuron, while the efferent division contains motor neuron. The central nervous system contains interneuron. Peripheral nervous system can be further subdivided into somatic nervous system and autonomic nervous system. Next, the subdivision of the autonomic nervous system includes sympathetic and parasympathetic. Now we look into the flow of information between the different components of nervous system. First, receptor will detect stimulus and send impulse via the sensory neuron to the interneuron in the central nervous system. Interneuron will integrate the various sensory informations and then send out impulse to the effector via motor neuron to regulate effector activity. An example of effector is skeletal muscle that will carry out response based on the impulse received from the central nervous system. Impulse from the interneuron can be carried out through different components of the peripheral nervous system depending on the intended response. The somatic nervous system is for voluntary or conscious control of body movement using skeletal muscle. In contrast, the autonomic nervous system involves regulation of involuntary or non-conscious physiological processes using cardiac or smooth muscle, for example, controlling the heart rate, peristalsis, and blood pressure. The autonomic nervous system involves two antagonistic nerves, the sympathetic nerve which activates body function, for example, increasing the heart rate from normal and secondly, the parasympathetic nerve that calms the body back to normal for example, decreasing the heart rate back to normal. Next, we'll discuss the structure of motor neuron. Motor neuron is the main type of neuron found in the peripheral nervous system. Motor neuron consists of cell body which contains nucleus Secondly, dendrites, which is a type of cytoplasmic projection, which receive impulse from another neuron. And then, the axon, a long and slender cytoplasmic projection that send impulse to other neuron. Some axon may have myelin sheath, which is a type of non-electrical conductor produced by Schwann cell which prevents conduction of electrical impulse along the axon segment. The myelin sheath wraps around the axon similar to wire insulator that wraps around the copper wire in the household electrical cable. Just like the myelin sheath, the wire insulator also does not conduct electrical charges. Next, the gap in between myelin sheath is called nodes of Ranvier. This is basically the section of the axon that is not covered by myelin sheath. This means that electrical impulse can be generated in this section of the axon. That's it for the component of the nervous system and the structure of motor neuron.